Huawei WM Planner. So this is one of the software developed by Huawei. Objective. Describe the basic characteristic of WM Planner. Use the WM Planner tools to perform WM Planning. The basic characteristic of WM Planner. So the WM Planner is an auxiliary tools for wireless network planning provided function of environment planning, AP deployment, network signal simulation, and automatic report export. So which help the technical engineer with network planning and improve the work efficiency. This is the product characteristic, environment planning, AP deployment, network signal simulation, and we also can generate the report management. So this, how does it look like? After we already installed the WM Planner, okay, so this one will be the first um, interface that will show up. Okay, it will show you the create project, open project, AP calculator, and search for the product. So this icon is just some of the project is the um, like history, okay, the previous project that you already create, and they will automatically store over here. And this W panel, they have the auto save uh, systems. So no need to worry, do the, uh, if you're forgetting to save your, um, the template, okay, they will always auto save your current project. Okay, on the top here, they have project configuration and also the help. This is the calculator for use to do the calculation for the AP. How many number of the AP is required deploy at the building. So you need to know what model of the AP you're going to deploy. Okay, this is the Huawei AP. They have more model we can actually to, to select. And then the bandwidth. Okay, the bandwidth we can select 20 megahertz or the 40 megahertz. For the environment, you can choose the semi-open environment office or they have many uh, many others. Okay, indoor, outdoor, use some um, environment. Okay, the AP calculator. So from the top here, AP type. So you can choose how many, uh, what is the AP type that you want. Okay, they have so many models right here. So all the performance also will be slightly different. And the bandwidth. So what is the, um, the bandwidth you're going to select? 20 megahertz, 40 or 80. And then the environment. So we can choose semi-open environment. Okay, this is mainly for the office building. Okay, the diner environment or the corridor. Open environment, okay, for the square or maybe the closed environment, the balcony or the lounge. So now the doing the testing is on the semi-open environment office. Okay, don't forget to put your uh, the size of your environment. Okay, uh, why is the uh, meter square feet? Okay, so this one. Then you put out um, the number of the concurrent user. So what is a concurrent user at the open area and also the closed area? Single user bandwidth. So bandwidth per user in the MBPS okay, for these two areas. So after that, you just click OK. Then you come out the result for you. You require to deploy seven AP to fit the um, scenario like this. So the next one, the configuration. So the configuration is on the top. Okay, let me close this one. Here, this is a configuration. So once you create on the configuration, so they'll open um, this step for you. You can choose the global configuration here. So you can set your default setting. So which is the RSSI that you want to scan? Okay, you're going to ignore anything is smaller than minus 90. Okay, this is default. Of course, you can still modify it. Okay, the frequency, uh, frequency for automatic AP deployment. Then below here is uh, build AP antenna. So when there's some of the AP um, right here is showing is some um, outdoor AP or maybe the indoor AP. It's allow us to modify the antenna. Okay, it doesn't come with the antenna, so we can choose the antenna that we want. Okay, you can use the omnidirectional antenna or the directional antenna. Then number third, here is the pre-configured switch. 
So we also can um, customize the switch that we have. So currently the Huawei switch is have five devices right here showing. Okay, so you also can go into configure some of the customized switch inside. Okay, you just need to put the name, okay, what type of the port that you supported, and the number of the port. Then the last one, pre-configure the obstacle. So some of the obstacle they might not list out, so you can manually add the new obstacle inside. Okay, you just click the plus button right here. Okay, give the name of your obstacle. What kind of material that that uh, you want to use? Okay, the thickness, and they will cost how many enton uh, intonation? Okay, for the two point four or five gears. Then next, you can select the color. Number two, use the WLAN planner two to do a WLAN plan. So when after running the WLAN plan, uh, planner, so the first thing we need to do is create a project and import the building drawing. Okay, because after you start the project, uh, they will allow you to import the floor plan like this one. You create a project. Okay, you giving the the name that you want. Okay, what is your project name? The country. Don't forget to choose the right country code. And right now you're doing for indoor or outdoor. Okay, so the indoor. Okay, um, semi open. This is for the office building, and you can create the OK. Right. So this is a way to uh, to start. And after you create OK just now, you can import the floor plan if you want. Okay, start the skill. You need to uh, let the simulator understand what is the skill okay the size for the building in middle you can set the environment deploy the AP manually or you can use automatically simulate the signaling around the cable if necessary and the last one we can export the network planning too so we can also export the report after you've done everything so this one I mentioned just now you can create a project And import the building drawing. So after you entering to the uh, the WM planner, so you are able to see they have few icon on the top. So they have three icon. Create a new project. Import your map. So this one is for those outdoor deploy. And this is the building. So basically, we're going to start from here. Create a new building. So you ask you to give the name of the building and your floor drawing. Okay, you can upload your picture from your uh, desktop then after that import then you come out the, the building name this is how you import and this one will be the picture that you upload just now so I create a history for the, from here okay the test this is my project name okay the building name and I'm going to open I have one of the map that I already import so you just click on this okay so they are going to load your project okay so this one is my floor plan so now after we already enter to the floor plan here don't forget to set the skill okay the skill is very important you need to know the proper size of your um, floor plan so I take out the ruler beside here and okay set a skilling okay you can adjust how far away Okay, in the meter. Okay, or you can put in a fit. Okay, you can adjust the size. So we have many ways to do that. Okay, the first one set the skill. Okay, we can uh, select some of the location and set the size. Okay, in the meter. This is the assembler. They put the eight meter right here. Or you can press the corner here. After you create already, you need to give the entire size the skill for the floor print and the next one you can configure the environment using this okay this selection is on the top okay the obstacle drawing so you need to know what is the obstacle, uh, obstacle material okay it's the wooden wall uh, the grass window brick wall or many others okay this one I already do some um, laboring already so on the top here you just select what kind of material so you can select okay 
Okay, like this one. You want to draw by yourself manually. Okay, just one click. Okay, once you do area, don't worry. Okay, you can always undo back. Okay, can remove. And then this one, the square box is easier for you to finish the, the drawing. But this one, they're going to cross, cross everything. Okay, in the square box like this one. Then on the other places here, you can choose those area that you want to um, more focusing one. Like right? Asambra, which one is your core area, common area, the coverage hole, and the area is allowed to do the auto deployment for your AP. Okay, after doing the laboring, you are able to see the color is look like this one. All right, they have a different colors. And the next, you can try to highlight which side will be your core area. Okay, the common area, coverage hole. So the common area is just some of the area required to have a wireless coverage. But whether have the very strong signal strength, it doesn't matter. The core area is the area required to have the very strong signal strength. The coverage hole is just some other places you can have the wireless coverage or without. And the last one, the area allow you to deploy the AP. Okay, they will have a different color. So the setting will be very similar to just now doing the labeling. You just go here and you can choose, okay, this is my core area. Okay, I would like to choose the square box like this one. And okay, this one is my core area. I'm going to highlight like this one. Okay, of course this one will depend on how, uh, how you're going to do the uh, the labor coverage hole. Okay, my corridor. Oh, you can do it, uh, select this one. I just create, left create, left create at the corner, left create, left create, left create, and right create. Okay, right create will be end the, the labeling. Okay, so this is my color show. The color will be uh, different than the core area. So after you already do all the labeling here, you already mark the color. So the next one, you also can add some interference source. Okay, the interference source you can put uh, in the places that after you go do the on-site survey, you know, uh, in the meeting room or the some of the building inside, they have the interference. So you can put the remark over there. Okay, then you can give them, what is this interference? Is it the microwave oven, um, the caller's phone, or maybe other wireless device that might cause the interference? Okay, so this object is a um, ceiling mount, or maybe it's on the ground floor. Okay, give the height. So this is for the AP deployment. So after everything is done, then you can go to the AP de uh, deployment here and do the auto AP deploy. Okay, like this one. You go to the AP deployment, select automatic. So they'll come out this result. The purple color area is the area allow the system to put the AP in. So they'll help you to do some uh, calculation and put some recommended area to deploy the AP. And the next one, if you want to see the coverage, so you can go to the AP deployment and look at the corner here, they have one, um, sorry, uh, this is uh, adding the device. Okay, so uh, they're going to put the, the device here. You can choose the laptop, uh, mobile, and uh, one more is a tablet, yeah, okay, if I'm not wrong. So let me show you from here. So go to the AP deployment. If you want to try to simulate the signal strength from a different room, so you can put the height of the, uh, the equipment, the demeanor. So we have a mobile phone, laptop, and a tablet. So now I select the laptop. The height of this laptop from the ground is one meter. Okay, so now I can put to some other places. Right now this is my AP, okay, right here. And maybe right now I'm inside the technical support department. Okay, this is how I actually deploy my terminal to doing the testing. Okay, then now you can double click on the terminal. And you notice the signal you can able to scan. To show you the uh, the AP name, okay, what is the signal uh, protocol they're using right now, and the signal strength in the DBM. 
stop a crit. Okay, they're going to do some simulate. Right now I have one AP and I'm only running the 2.4. Right now I scan the single strength is minus 73, would be quite weird. Alright, or maybe I can try to move my Termina close a little bit and check. Oh, now slightly better, it's minus 67. So the next one, we can go to the K bearing here if that are required to do so. But if you want to do, uh, generate one very um, perfect um, the report, so you also can go here to deploy some of the equipment. So they maybe have some room. You also using the uh, the Huawei AC, the controller. So your manager or maybe your boss want to see where is the location that you put your AC and also the PoE switch. So you can put right here. They have two three choices. Okay, the AC six zero zero five. The other one will be the 605 with the PoE and this one is the AC 6605. At the middle here, this is all the PoE switch. Okay, this is a PoE switch. In my topology, you'll notice I already put one controller. This is my AC okay, and this is my switch and this is the AB. Okay, I'm connecting them using the Cat5e. Okay, the green color is a Cat5e cable. How do I know? Because I'm isolated from here. Okay, you can select the quality of the cable, 5E, Cat5 or Cat6. Then the next one can export the planning report. So uh, they look at on the last one here, import and export. So they have three selection. So we can generate the WM planning report, export the AP list or export material bill. Just out here, okay, um, I have one thing I didn't show up yet is uh, when, when you want to see the simulator, you can just click on the. Okay, um, right now I just want to see the 2.4. Let me close this one and open the simulation. Okay, you just are uh, emulating a uh, uh, few, just few seconds. Okay, just waiting. Okay, then you can see the coverage. So the purple color have a very strong signal strength coverage. Okay, so you can see the weakness. When I'm going to move my. PC, okay, this is my laptop in the bubble color coverage, double crate. Okay, so I will notice my signal 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. 2.4 is minus 40, and the 5 is already minus 44. When I enter to the green color area, it will be weakened. Okay, now I no longer can get the 5 gigahertz anymore. Okay, I only get 2.4. And the signal strength is minus 69. You also can change the color if it doesn't like the look like the, um, the color is look like this one. You want to see in the, the circle coverage. So we can create the icon right here to change it. To turn the color become the pink color, yellow and the green color. Okay, this is another option. So this one is the import export. We look at the on the top here, import export, and then they have few uh, options for you to select. So after you click on the generate WM planning report, so you can select which building, which floor, okay, that you want to generate the report. Okay, the content. And okay, for this frequency, which frequency that you want to choose to generate? So you can choose 2.4 or the 5 gigahertz and the color. So the color scheme like just now what I'm showing you just now. Okay, everything confirmed already, you can start to generate. Okay, I'm going to click on this. Okay, the test. Okay, this is my report. Mm, okay, I don't want to see the 5 gigahertz, I just want to see the 2.4 and I prefer the different color so we can choose the different color here when we'll generate the report. I only want to check the signal strength okay, for the RSSI. So this one I'm, I'm thick. So we can choose a language, okay, what kind of language that you want and the format. So then click generate. So once you generate, you come out the report. Okay, The report will show you in a very profession, uh, professional way. And the second one, 
we can export the AP list. How many AP that we already use? Okay, they show all the, the type, the name of the AP and the height of the AP. And the last one here is the export material bill. So you also can generate the material bill with using this, the last icon. Summary, the basic characteristic of WM Planner, use the WM Planner to, to do the WM Planner.